today we're making oi sobaki. The type of cucumber that you need for oi sobaki is what I refer to as Korean cucumber, which is actually called a silver green cucumber or white sun cucumber. Basically any Asian hybrid cucumber with semi-white skin and prickly spines. I don't like to use English cucumbers for this because the skin is too thick. You want skin that's kind of soft. I have 10 Korean cucumbers that I've scrubbed and washed just because these have really prickly spines on them. Cut them roughly into one and a half inch pieces. You can get maybe four or five pieces out of one cucumber. Take one piece and make a cross section. You don't want to cut it cleanly. Cut just enough that you leave maybe a centimeter or two off the edge. This is how we're going to stuff our cucumbers. Repeat the process for all of your cucumbers. As you can see, my cucumbers are nice and cut. I put them in a bowl. And before I cook my cucumbers, I actually boiled water with sea salt. We need our water to come to a complete boil. Sea salt does dissolve in cold water, but we need boiling water for this. Once our water comes to a boil, add the water to our cucumbers. You want your cucumbers to be completely submerged. In Korean cooking, when we make any sort of kimchi or pickled vegetables, we always add an agent to begin either the fermentation process or the wilting process. Make sure all of your cucumbers are submerged in the water. Place a heavy object if the cucumbers kind of float up and leave for about 40 minutes. In that time, I'm going to prepare my stuffing. I have scallions that I've cut into one inch pieces. Going to julienne half of a medium sized daikon radish. Put everything in a bowl. Add garlic, sugar, gochukaru, salted shrimp, fish sauce, and mix. No need for salt because the salted fish and fish sauce are salty. I'm going to add chives that have been cut into one and a half inch pieces and mix. Mix until all of the chives are completely coated with the seasoning. It's been about 40 minutes and as you can see, my cucumbers have kind of come apart. That's because it's retaining some of the salt. I'm washing my cucumbers in cold water and draining them. Try to get all of the excess water out of the cucumbers. Next is to stuff our cucumbers with our chive mixture. Within the cross section, just stuff a little bit in. See the radish and the chives? And repeat this process for all of the cucumbers. Once done, add the remaining chive and radish mixture on top of the cucumbers. Sprinkle sesame seeds, and you're done. I like to eat this right away, but some people like to leave it to ferment a little in the fridge. Thank you for watching.